In terms of recovery, I'm almost three months in now since the incident. And, you know, Dr. Sobeck reminded me when we were talking a few weeks ago, he's like, you're doing great. Everything's coming back in order. Like, this is tremendous. He's like, I want to remind you, most heart patients, 12 to 18 months. The primary focus since my heart attack is for me to connect with myself and my surroundings. I get a lot out of being in the woods or being on the river. And, and for me, fishing particularly, I think that water is a great teacher. One of my most influential books that I read when I was young was Siddhartha by Herman Hesse. The scene that I remember the most is the guy that did the river ferry talking about the thousand voices of the river. When I fish, always, before the first cast, I close my eyes and I try to hear those thousand, thousand voices. I can work out fully now. I can lift weights, not a lot. I mean, I had to sit down for 10 minutes after three pound dumbbells and now I'm doing 15 pounds plus all this other stuff. You know, it's great to see those tangible results, but right now I'm just, very focused on my recovery and for me that means a ton of time outdoors. Ranga's situation was dire. He was literally dying before our eyes and we just moved very quickly. You know most of us wake up every day with expectations of what's going to happen that day and you never know when you're going to get sick. And when you get sick you want help. In Ranga's case, the kind of help that he needed was high-level care, high-level acuity care. Every step, every moment counts when you have somebody that's that sick. In my family, there's a history of heart disease. So my dad, he was a month shy of his 39th birthday. Massive heart attack, triple blockage. When he fell in the kitchen, I was the one that ran, was like hitting his chest while my mom was on the telephone with 911. I mean, he was gone in 45 minutes. It was crazy and a uh, grandfather that also died young, same thing. So for me, having a heart attack at 36 years old, it was very, very, very close. Given the hit that my heart took, it was, you know, I think my chances of survival were like one in 10. Given the seriousness of Ranga's situation, there was a lot of equipment in here. We also had several nurses. We had a respiratory therapist and then Dr. Sobek, who was managing Ranga's heart and then the critical care physician that was managing the ventilator and other equipment. As an ICU nurse, I would love to see them be able to come in not being terrified that even though their family member is critically ill and sick in bed, that there's a space for them that's warm and inviting. Right now, in our current ICU, there's just nowhere for them to go. Throughout my treatment, there is this level of care that all these years of training and why I got into this field now gets to go to this person. I think there's a huge selflessness about it. And working back in time, understanding what they did for my friends and family and taking the time to explain things um, was tremendous. I definitely believe it in energy and intention and, and knowing that there were just so many people across the globe pulling for me was huge. One of my friends was hiking in Nepal and she got the news from this one spot that had cell phone reception up there. Later that day, they just happened to be going through this special place where they pray for people that are sick. And so she put my name on a prayer flag and stuck it up. And I mean, that was like one of the first photos I saw when I came to it. I was just like, whoa. You know, when there's a medical situation, there's the immediate recovery, but I don't think there's really a substitute for your community support. Just knowing that people are there and they have your back. I am a heart attack victim, and they treated my heart attack, but Bozeman Health really was great at treating Ranga so that I could get back to my life and the things that I love doing. <laughs>